Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to give you an update on my nature's generator solar solar generator that I had purchased. Um, at the time, I just purchased the generator itself. I didn't get the solar panels because I had originally purchased some uh, solar panels from Harbor Freight a few months back. So I thought, okay, no problem. I don't need to purchase more. I already have solar panels. So when I decided to test it out, um, test out the solar panels with my nature's generator, come to find out nothing was happening. There was no charge to the generator. Epic fell. So what did I do? I went to Nature's Generator um, website and I was looking at what they had, the setup and so forth, and come to find out they have 200 watt solar panels hooked up to their Nature's Generator. And I'm speaking for the elite, not the regular one, only for the elite. Now, um, I saw that they had 200 watts and that made me go, hmm. I need 200 watt solar panels in order to charge the Nature's Generator Elite. So I then thought I would buy a second panel from Harbor Freight. That way I could just go ahead, daisy chain them up and use that. But however, what I come to find out was the connections are different for the Harbor Freight solar panels to the Nature's Generator, um, to the Nature's Generator. And I will show you what I mean. So what you see here is the connection for the Harbor Freight solar panels, okay? And then the connection for the Nature's Generator These are the connections for the Nature's Generator. So now my dilemma was, what do I do? Okay, so I thought, okay, maybe if I can get a, a connector, a multi-connector, then I could just buy a second Harbor Freight solar panel, which was 100 watts. Well, the problem with that was that I couldn't find an adapter that would accommodate uh, the one because the Harbor Freight solar panels are four panels at 25 watts each. Okay, so if you only need 25 or 50, you can adjust it accordingly or use the whole 100. So there's several connections and I couldn't find anything that would work. So what did I have to do? I went scouring the the internet, ran across um, a website called Renogy and they had 200 watt solar panels for around, it was around $500. And I think at the time they had Earth Day sale going and it's free shipping. So I don't know if they're still offering that now, but so I received it and then I plugged it in and guess what? Voila, it works. It's charging my generator. So, and today happens to be a good day because we have a mix of overcast cloudy days with cl clouds as well as sun. So I was like, okay, great. It's a good day to try it out. And it's charging my generator. So I wanted to also speak on anyone who's speaking like, I can't afford this. Again, for the amount of money you spend for the Jackery and the Blue Eddy, with even without you know if you match it up you're going to spend more money for them and perhaps so because of their name nature's generator is not that popular so a lot of people are not speaking on it so don't sleep on it because for the same amount of money you're going to get more watt hours and then you still have the same option as they have you can plug it into the wall to charge you can use solar and the added bonuses is that if you want to add a wind turbine to it, you can do that as well. Now, also I wanted to speak on the affordability. Yes, it's around the same price, but Nature's Generator uses PayPal. So apply for a PayPal credit and that way you get six months free interest. You know, if you pay it off in six months, you don't pay any interest. Renogy offered a payment plan, so I applied for that. So really, I got my generator and solar panels around $1,400, $1,500, no out-of-pocket cost. 
up front. Okay, so, and I have time to pay them both off. Okay, so it fits into my budget a little better month to month than having to come out of pocket all at once. So just wanted to put that on your mind. So I wanted to let you know that um, I failed at trying to put this together, but you know what? That's why you test things out, trial and error, and come to find out the Harbor Freight panels did not work. But I'm not getting rid of them because I still have a battery and another charge controller and inverter. I can put that in for small items, um, you know, uh, USB lights and things like that. So it, it still is usable with the battery that I have. But for my bigger, more powerful things, I have my Nature's Generator for 3,600 watts. You're getting more bang for the money and you can use payment plans offered to you to make it more affordable for you. So I understand Lead Farmer 73, you know, he wants us to be prepared and just get anything. I agree. Get what you mon your money can afford. But if you can afford the monthly payment plan, well then by George, get what you can get a better system. Get the nature's generator. I mean, I have yet to I plugged in my Instapot. And Instapots take they they it pulls 1200 watts. Now, granted, I'm only using it five minutes, so you can do the division. You take your 1,200 divided by 60, that's what you're using per minute times five. That will give you your watt hours. Hope you caught all that. But that's how you figure out. And so I know that I can use my Instapot in, with my Nature's Generator, if need be, in an emergency, and it's not going to uh, give me an error. Now, if I did that in the ones that... Lead Farmer 73 purchase, the Blue Eddy and the Jackery, it won't do it. It's not going to pull it. I think they're only 1,500 watts. You're pulling 1,200 watts right out the gate on an Instapot. Not going to work, right? Now, it doesn't mean you're going to be using it in an emergency, but, you know, you never know what you're going to need. I'd rather ha need it, have it, and not need it, and then to need it and not have it. Again, if you stay prepared, you don't have to get prepared. I'm just saying. So for those of you who can put it in a monthly budget, I would advise to go to Nature's Generator, purchase that, and then I would go to Renergy and get their solar panels. Here's why. Um, Nature's Generator uses polycrystal, polycrystalline, I believe, solar panels, and uh, Renergy is offering, or it's better to get monocrystalline. It's a better product. It's more effective. Days you're able to still charge um, on cloudy days because it's a superior product. Monocrystalline is a superior product than the polycrystalline. Polycrystalline still gives you a charge, but it's less expensive. You get what you pay for. It's cheap. Okay. So with that being said, um, also too, I wanted to let you know that my solar panels that I got from Renergy comes in if I can hold this up, it comes in this uh, case, which is a protective case so that you can carry it around. It zips, see? And you put it in there and you can carry this around with you, as well as you know that the Nature's Generator comes on um, a, a, a cart. So I can put my Nature's, my solar panels on top of the cart and wheel it all at once if I need to move it around, okay, and set up somewhere else. So just wanted to give you that tip. I wanted to let you know that Epic fell with the Harbor Freight um, solar panels using the Nature's Generator Elite. So, uh, yeah, I, that's all I wanted to put out there. And right now I have everything plugged in because, oh, the Renergy solar panels, they have the right connection. So I don't need an adapter or anything like that. Um, I purchased the 200 watt monocrystalline panels without controller. However, they sent it with the controller. So I have extra controller if I ever need it, but I just unplugged it and plugged it directly into my generator. And it is working, let me show you. Okay, well, there you guys have it. I have the solar input in there. And it is charging up, as you can see. Let me get in there closer. All righty. And um, then on top is the case for the Renji solar panels. Okay, those are 200 watts. You need 200 watts for the Elite. 
Um, I think you only need 100 watts for the regular one, um, the regular nature generator, but for the Elite, you need 200. And for every pod, additional pod that you have, okay, this is the generator, then you can purchase a pod to attach to it, then you need a, a 300 watts. And so if you have more pods, you can connect as many pods as you need and you just add on another 100 watts, another 100 watts as you go. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video short. Just wanted to bring an update on my failure at trying to put together um, my solar panels with my nature's generator. But I w don't sleep on it, guys. Go check them out. And if you can't get the elite, get the next one down. I think that one's 1600 watts, I believe. And it's far less. And then get the solar panels. You only need 100 watt. I would still go to renergy.com, get their solar panels because they have a great superior product. I have it outside right now. It's working. No issues, no problems. All right, guys. So if you can't get that, just get something because it's, we need to be prepared for when things go wrong. All right. Bye now.